Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to get better at Ashika Island. Now, when it comes to Ashika Island, it's a fast paced mode. The matches are shorter. So I wanna see you guys getting out there, getting aggressive and getting in fights. Most of these players are hiding in corners. So when it comes time to fight, they don't know how because they're so busy hiding, they don't practice. All right, guys, today we're gonna to be spectating some trios resurgence. Now I know this mode's coming out here, um, I believe in two days when the update drops and it's gonna have all modes and sizes thank god i will be honest quads is an absolute cluster trio is still really bad but uh definitely light years ahead now i've been playing a lot of resurgence if you guys are watching the stream we've been playing with viewers and playing with the homies um and i wanted to make sure i had my hands deep in this mode before we actually did some spectating but I did notice a common trend with this gameplay is it kind of carries over from Resurgence, um, Rebirth. People, for some reason, still feel like they need to play it frozen. I don't even want to say slow. Slow is fun. This actually has a lot of strategy you could do in order to win the game. I, I believe it has a little bit more strategy to secure the dub than Rebirth did. Might be a hot take. A lot of you guys might disagree, but just because of how wide open the map is, there's a lot more strategy to secure the win, no matter how many kills you do get. But when you're in a hot drop like this, I always, again, want to encourage you guys to fight, 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 fight. Get more efficient with that pistol. If you guys can master that pistol gameplay, you're going to be a lot better off when it comes to sniping and even just tracking with normal weapons. Precision weapons like snipes and pistols will increase your gameplay drastically throughout all different weapon sorts. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys to run around the whole damn game with just a pistol, but again, hot drop, get in a few fights, grab a gun, and then roll out. But again, we are in a hot area. We do have a lot of places around us, and notice how we're sitting in one spot. So... When you guys are in an area like this, you want to clear the building and move on to the next. Clear the building, move on to the next. And keep rinsing and repeating that entire method so everyone's going to be able to loot their buildings and then they're going to be the ones to push out and they're going to be hunting you. Whereas if you were to rotate away from your building to the next one, you might catch the enemies while they have their hands in the loot as well. But instead, uh, they caught us with our hands in the loot and here we are spectating coax, coax, co 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 bomb drones actually being disabled um during mid-season update i love that mm, yep you gotta always anticipate there's gonna be more players you know damn well that resurgence or any mode for that matter people are gonna be stacked but especially resurgence you have a lot more players condensed in a smaller area so you have to play your life do not just full send out there i don't mind you pushing and trying to and trying to push that kill that's fine but we could have rotated through the buildings. We could have possibly baited the res off. But instead, he put him, his whole body out in the open. And even worse, instead of having his gun out, he threw an aid to try to secure that W. Or secure the kill. Which I just don't, as you can see, think it was a good idea. So unfortunately, uh, Koex lost his loot. He'll probably land back there. Now, when it comes to landing on your dead body, if you do have your loadout, to each their own. I, for one, am going to try my best to secure my, uh, my guns because I hate running around with ground loot things. But don't make the same mistake a lot of us do if we get too egoed out and we're just going to keep sending, 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 trying to get that back. What you want to do is, again, say we died over here, hold your parachute, wait for the enemies to clear the area, dive on your loot, pick up your guns instantly, pop that reload if you have to, and then clear the area because again even when you land on your loot if it's safe they're going to be relatively close that's where pulling your shoot comes into play and i'm not a big fan of the idea of spawn protection but since it's there utilize it to your advantage oh yeah big yosh out here turning up look at that prone play oh he's trying to climb that it's weird dude you, you can tell like players like coax the moment they see a corner with something they think they can vault on top of they instinctively jump to it even if that's not what they want to do Okay, quads is an absolute nightmare, and we will spectate a quads here soon. And normally I do all the spectating of the resurgence on my resurgence channel, but I wanted to go ahead and post on the main channel um, to see what you guys think. Because to be honest, I've actually been enjoying this map more than on Mazra. It's a lot more action packed. I feel like all Mazra's just been a little slow lately, especially with the fire shotguns. And I'm sure we will see that today. Got an enemy on the bridge right now, laying prone. Again, observation. A lot of people said, Savage, when I get FOV on console, bro, I'm going to be a better player. Watch. Look, observation's awesome, man. You got to utilize it. 
you could have your FMV crank to 300, but if you're not watching the edges of your screen, it's not going to help you. That enemy we could have killed and then in turn saved our teammate from dying because that's the guy that killed our homie. Now, I can't really put myself in y'all's shoes. Even when I was a bot in games, I was pretty observant with the entire screen, pay attention to hub and, and everything around me. But if if you guys are locked on just your crosshair, locked on a window, again, let, loosen up your eyes. Don't just sit there in tunnel vision on it. Kind of sit back, relax your, relax your damn pupils, and scan the entire screen. We're sitting here. We're trying to ping this sniper. I hope that our team can understand what the glint means we shouldn't be out there putting ourselves super vulnerable now we don't have to run from it i would like to see us get in a fight and again push and play aggressive because his team did die a victim of overstaying their welcome in one area and you know there are a lot of hunters in rebirth island you got your tiktokers your streamers your youtubers everyone out there trying to drop their 30s and 40s so again the odds of having them in your game is pretty high so you got to keep your feet moving Let's see who the team lead is right now. And I don't mind slow gameplay. Like I said, you guys can actually secure a lot of dubs playing good positioning, good high ground. But we can go ahead and secure this rooftop and we should have made our way to this area the moment we had the next zone identified. But instead, we're gonna sit here and loot when we also have this up here. Now getting a loadout is gonna be chalked. It's gonna be difficult. I shouldn't say chalk. It's gonna be difficult, but you still wanna make an effort to get there and again, don't fall into the same mistakes you made early game. These guys here, Overseer, they're welcome, got clapped. Keep moving, clear the warehouses, get to your loot, make sure it's safe. We do have a UE up. Unfortunately, we cannot see the pings that they can see, I'm sure. Good job with the bounty grab in case it identified enemy near them. Now look at the little separation we have right now. Not a huge deal, but we want to be protecting our squad mates as they're grabbing their stuff. And also, if we were all there together, we could all grab our shit and get out. But now that our two teammates have grabbed it, they might move on. We might go there by ourselves and get caught out. And to be 100, I'm very surprised nobody's here. Now, even with the UAV up, got to be got to be looking up for these ghosts. So many people utilizing ghosts. And to be fair to each your own, but I, again, especially this mode kind of gets a little crazy with high alert, so I can understand it. But in all Mazra guys, please, I'm telling you right now, just try high alert for a week. It will save your life so many times. Unless you're sitting in a building, that ain't gonna do shit for you. Keep on using ghost, brother. Okay. Some people just can't let it go, man. Some people just can't let it go. And again, you want to grab the position. You want to grab the high ground, right? We already knew that this is exactly where it was going to go. We knew that these two buildings would be the high ground. And again, it took us so long to rotate to this area. I'm actually surprised. I think I just saw movement, actually. I'd be surprised if no one's on the roof. I think I saw movement in the middle platform. There he is. Again, a little, the, the recoil is a little much more on this gun than it used to be. I recommend the ISO, guys. And again, just collapse and separation from the enemies. Now we have, or from the team, but now we had a good idea sitting here playing the, playing the positioning, allowing our teammates to push and hopefully suppress the enemy. Unfortunately, Big Yosh again, using the wrong weapon because he can't control the recoil. If you guys like the RPK, keep on using it. But just for this person here, you got to drop it, brother. This ain't for you. Try something a lot less recoil than this. So his teammates were relying on us to provide cover. Unfortunately, we couldn't. The three enemies on the roof did take out two of our homies. And now we're kind of in a weird spot. Again, I still want to get the rooftop. You don't want to play too hesitant. You have zip lines. You have you have so many multiple ways up top, especially when the enemies are distracted with people flying in. Why not? And here we are just... Now look, the team on the rooftop has a really good position right now. And just like all mods are guys, the earlier rotate, the better off you are. We knew this would be a problem the moment they got caught up looting and looting and looting where they didn't need to because they had their loadout sitting right here on the way to that building. Coex is about to be on top of the roof. I'm gonna be honest, I can't pronounce that dude's name at all. 
I'm gonna call him Cokes. And also, if you're in a position like this, guys, where you just know you can't hit your shots, you gotta find another way around. You gotta find another way out. And again, we're not utilizing smoke grenades. He got his class. He wanted his flashbang more than anything in life. And again, even in this mode here, smoke grenades are crucial. I cannot tell you how many times smoke grenades have saved my life. Not sure the gas play right here, to be honest. We might need this later on, and we're literally just wasting a gas mask for two inches of zone. But as I was saying, guys, if you can't control your recoil and you can't win a fight, you got to find a way around the fight, push the fight, just find a different path. Sitting there on the rock, just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for an easy shot. It's just not going to happen, as you guys can see. So now two of our teammates have died because we were not there with them. And to be fair, there was really no reason at this point in the match for them to push over. If they just would have held this rooftop, because Coax was up here, or Coax was up top, if he just would have held this rooftop, they could have gate kept these enemies easily instead of just putting themselves vulnerable to get clapped. And here we are instantly just hiding for our, our dear lives. This is something you don't want to do. You know, if you're in a position where you're plating and you're reloading, there's a lot of footsteps around you. I don't mind seeing you kind of back up and quiet yourself down by not moving your feet, pop your plates, do what you need to do, and then re-engage the fight. But this, again, is just not the play. Hopefully, we can find another 500 bucks. We can get two reses off. Because it still is an option. We can at least get one res off. Because, look, we're going to sit here, and we're going to wait and wait and wait and wait. And what's going to happen? Well, we're going to be forced to move out of here and move up the hill. Possibly. It could dive back to us, but... It's looking like we're going to have to move out. And when we do, your boy's going to get absolutely wrecked if he doesn't get wrecked before that. Because he's got to go up that hill and everyone's got their eyes on that ramp. Uh-oh. We might, we might have some. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to get away. I'm not going to lie. And again, look at the aim. Now, why is his aim so bad? And no, the answer isn't because he sucks. I would have got his money, to be honest, but that's fine. His aim's so bad because this is how he plays. He doesn't put... Again, if he had smokes, that'd be a hell of a play. He doesn't put himself in the position. You see how he is in a, in a 1v1. Here's one footstep. He, here's one enemy. just freezes up in a corner. I don't know if he's going to make it out of this. If he, yeah, he's dead. GG. Guy on the rocks. Two guys to the rocks to the right. He ain't going to make it to a fight. Yeah. And you know, guys, look, Almazra is one thing because it's a long, drawn-out map, but this is the mode here. You should be hot dropping. You should be pushing everything. Again, if you guys watch me play, I'm going to push every damn fight. I'm going to try my best to improve my skill in all forms and aspect, no matter how good I am or hope to be. Fast modes like this, guys, again, utilize movement. I don't, I don't understand. It's a 10-minute match. Why are we hiding in corners? not doing the plays we had a buy station there um we could have got a teammate back could have got a gas mask um again utilize smokes how many there were two plays right there at the end we could have used smokes to save our lives we could have smoked out to rotate instead of wasting our gas mask early on by the rock we could have gassed or smoke grenaded the buy station bought our teammate back and then again a gas mask if there wasn't in the buy um and and again so just straighten out your loadout straighten out your gameplay and guys just play with a lot more confidence if you guys have watched the channel for a while you know that i preach confidence in this game almazra can understand that fear because it's such a long drawn out game but in this game here guys make sure you guys are pushing every fight you can that way you can improve your gameplay because there's no reason for this man to have aim like that when this game's been out for even just three months but guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you do leave a like on it subscribe today if you're new but until next time y'all have a good one and good luck in warzone